Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. And before we leave tomorrow, there's something that's bugging me. Back when we first got here to Inaba. Hmm. Maybe Dojima would know something about the day we got here? Or at least remember something. It was a long time ago, but maybe it's worth a shot? Hey guys, do can I ask you something? Hmm? Did you already meet all your friends? Well, yeah, but I need to talk to you about something. Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. Lots happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, Big Bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. When I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before you went home, huh? Uh, yeah. I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah. Come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. Mm, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you car sick? You said you were okay, but... That attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I won't be long. And the first place we stopped at when we came into town was the gas station. And we met that... attendant. Hmm... Something doesn't seem right about that meeting. I wonder if he's still there. Hmm... Doesn't look like it. Something just isn't right. Maybe... they would know something. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm, what may that be? 
Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow, that's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power, which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Hey, I remembered something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. I was the unconscious wish shared by people's minds to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. But people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go, follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. Back to where everything began. What did Igor mean by that? And the truth. I thought we solved the case. If only we could... You. It was you. Hi there. Do you need something? <sighs> Weren't you the first person I met when I came to Inaba? First? What are you talking about? Oh, this is about the part-time job? I'm sorry, we don't have an opening yet. Would you, by any chance, know a man named Amatame? Ah, that's the serial suspect. A real tragedy, wasn't it? But the case was solved, right? <laughs> Thank goodness. Hmm. Something else I can help you with? Yeah, actually... Did you ever meet either Namatame or Toru Udachi? Well, uh, that's a weird question to ask. I don't know if it was right here, but I might have met them before. I've been in this town for a long time, so 
yeah, there's a good chance. But it's not like I know them personally. Mm. Uh, if you got nothing else, you mind leaving me alone? I don't think I can do that. Oh, you still need something? Hey. I asked you to leave me alone. Did you miss that? Did you do anything to those two? Huh? To those two? Hmm. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's right. I remember now. I think I met them when they first came to town. Yeah. So I greeted them, saying, Welcome to Inaba. But that's all. Just that. <laughs> what about it? <sighs> what did you do to me? What did I do? <laughs> Don't you remember? I met you here when you first came to town. And I did the same thing as what I did to those two. I greeted you. That's all. Remember? We talked for a couple minutes. Hey. Mind if I ask you something? Why all these questions? Something that's bothering you? About the time we first met? Yeah. There is. Why did you give me the power? <laughs> Amazing. You've reached me at last. <laughs> Let's drop this charade. To be quite honest, I was waiting for you to come. Adachi. Namatami. And you. It is I who awakened that power within you three. The ones who had potential. But having said that, I'm rather surprised. You really are troublesome. Not only did you defeat the two Sigiri I snuck into Adachi and Namatame, but you even saved that stunted dwarf of a life. <laughs> it's such a foolish thing. What good is saving her life? She is but rubbish. Suitable only for getting rid of that pointless fog. Hmm? <laughs> Don't tell me she was still carrying that around. Oh, excuse me. I was talking about that bamboo comb you have on you. <laughs> it seems you don't know who gave her that comb either. That comb is a symbol of the separation we went through. How foolish. That comb was a curse. And to think she treasured it all this time. She must have been desperate for something to cling to. <sighs> There's a limit to how irresponsible you can get. Hmm? And what are you going to do about it? The last battle wasn't enough for you. You certainly have the powers I was expecting. You must know by now. Isn't that why you came? Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed, I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like... This. Uh, 
Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami. Amano Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. You, you defeated, defeated the, the two Sigiri and, and the one fragment born from me. me. And I'm now here you stand, stand, face to face with me. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. To. Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Oh, okay. The others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really going to close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. All right. Then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. Finally discover the true cause of everything that happened. You must defeat this Izanami, who awaits for you in the other world. If Izanami truly gave birth to Ami no Sagiri, then as long as Izanami is left alone... The town will definitely fall into the fog again someday. If that were to happen, everyone, all those precious to you, will become mere shadows. This is the most important task you have faced, and it must be taken care of before leaving town. You must ensure complete peace for this town where you've lived with everyone. This is the final chapter of Persona 4 Golden. We have finally discovered the truth that the reason behind everything that has happened here was not Namatame, and it wasn't Adachi. It was Izanami. This is the final battle, guys. Everything's been leading up to this. All right! This is finally it. So many things happen up till now, but now we'll beat this Izanami and put an end to this, right? Yes, but since we were spread out all over town until a moment ago, let's go over what happened. This is the last measure that must be taken. We will need to make sure that we end this properly. Absolutely. So let's give it our all, guys. This is the grand finale. All right, let's brace ourselves.
I sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced, and it seems like a new area has formed. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, We'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It is kinda sad that this... really is gonna be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives. There were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right! All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future! So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets! Ew. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic, it makes my skin crawl. Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this. This is the final battle of Persona 4 Golden. There's one more dungeon to go. And Sensei, good luck. Thanks, Ted. In the next episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden, we chase after Izanami. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you guys then.